Hi everyone. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can configure SSH on a Cisco switch. So usually in a real world scenario, you have a, if you are a network engineer, you, you would have a local iTunes site and you would ask them to give you a, a console connection to, to a switch. And you can do that remotely. So, you know, there is, there is uh, application that you can use to basically share your screen or the local IT, they can share your screen. They can share the screen with you. And from a remote place, you can go ahead and configure uh, SSH or that switch remotely. So in this video, um, like I said, this is a real scenario. So I have I have prepared the step-by-step -step procedure on how to configure SSH on a Cisco switch, switch. So basically, I mean, you just have to ask them to connect a PC to the switch using a console cable. And from, from you know, from your laptop, you can configure the, uh, you can configure SSH um, on a switch. And you can see that I said, configure the switch as a SSH server, because in reality, that's what you're doing. You, you are configuring it as a SSH server. So let me go ahead and configure switch one in this case. I have, I have secure CRT open here and this is a, a router. I'm just, I just made, I mean, I just changed the icon to a PC, but let me go ahead and start configuring SSH. So first thing that you should do is you have to make sure that you have to make sure that you configure a local account first. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to copy and paste this just to make it quick and then configure SSH2 using RSA key pairs. So in this in this case I don't have to I don't have to configure the domain name and well um, switch one is the host name already but in this case this is a practical way of just in my opinion practical way of configuring SSH so you don't have to worry about the domain name and done and just copy and paste these commands done and also these so configuring the line console zero and line bty zero through four in this case so let me explain the configurations a bit so basically here what i'm doing here is i i'm i mean as, as the note says here, it specifies the RSA key pair to be used for SSH. And second is, this is how you generate the RSA key. So I, I used, in this case, I'm using this label here, which is configured in this command. And timeout is 60, I believe this is 60, seconds so one minute and authentication retries three times and version is two and line console yeah this is to basically say that i mean to to tell to the switch in this case to make the output more readable and here this is me this means to use the local account configured which is this and exit time just the timeout same here and this command, this command basically tells the switch to only allow SSH connection, not allow telnet. And local, I mean, login local is to basically use the local account. Okay, so let me save the config. And if I use this command here, so we see that SSH is enabled version.0. About this one. So no SSH, no active SSH is running. So that's what I'm going to do on this PC here. 
So I have a IP address configured on this switch, which is this IP address. Let me show you the command. So it's just a uh, a slash 24. I mean, an IP address with a slash 24 subnet. And same with this PC, which is a router, I mean a switch. So just a point-to-point -point connection between switch one and switch, I mean PC. So I, if I ping switch one from PC, I can ping it. And now I can use the this command here. So basically, if I do a question mark, so minus L meaning to use a username. So username that I configured is Cisco and the IP address is 10.10.10.0 and password is Cisco, done. And if I do that command, actually this one, yeah. So now we see that SSH is running on switch one. So that's how you can configure SSH on a Cisco switch. So like I said, in reality, you would have a console connection from your PC, or at least from the PC that you are accessing to the uh, switch, because you don't have, usually you don't have a uh, layer three connection yet. So console connection does not require a, a IP connection. So that's how, I mean, that's how you can configure SSH on a Cisco switch. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.